right, so I've just signed into AdWords, and you just go to AdWords.com and sign in with your Google account. Uh, if you haven't set up a Google account or um, haven't signed up with AdWords, you'll have to do that first. There's a little bit of a process to that. Um, now, just so you don't have my customer ID, I've just kind of cut it off a little bit. Up at the top here um, that you can't see in the upper left is Home, Campaigns, Opportunities, and Tools. So to do... Um, a Google search we're just going to click or I'm sorry to look at the keywords you're going to click on keyword planner and we're going to search for a new keyword idea so let's say we do counseling counseling depression anxiety um, things like that and let's change the location just to my location. Uh, we're going to do Traverse City, Michigan. And then filters I like to do is I like to not have high competition. I like just medium and low. Uh, if you do want to also have on here average monthly searches, uh, either above or below a certain amount, suggested bids, ad impressions, those sorts of things, that's helpful. I like to start by just getting ideas. <clears throat> now I don't really look at the ad group ideas when I'm doing this at first. I just want to look at what's some of the keyword ideas in my area. And so for the word anxiety, about seven people a month are searching for that low competition. So that might be something that I want to start to uh, maybe write some blog posts about, things like that. But if you scroll down, it gives you a few ideas also. So depression symptoms, people, about 20 people a month are asking about depression symptoms. So if I wanted to write some blog posts that would get at least 20 people and maybe one of those will schedule an appointment with me, it might be depression symptoms. Uh, other low ones are anxiety disorders, 30 people a month. You figure if you had 30 people, like once a day having somebody call you about anxiety, that'd be really big. Uh, depression test, 50. Uh, that's a lot of people that are wondering about depression in my area. So there's a lot of opportunity here. Um, you figure if just 10 people a month are connecting with an article that you write, that can really make an impact in regards to how many people you have coming in. Now imagine if I wrote three articles for each of the top things. So depression symptoms, maybe that's 20 people. Anxiety disorders, I might write three about. There's Now we're up to 50. Um, anxiety symptoms, now we're up to 70. And depression test, write a few articles about that that I'll rank for, 120. Now imagine if I had 120 extra people that are emotionally connecting with my content before I ever talk to them as a counselor. Um, that can be really, uh, really beneficial to help a practice.